Hi guys and welcome to the first video of this entire series. This entire series will be dedicated to Azure AD Connect. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is Azure AD Connect. I will be discussing why do we use Azure AD Connect and what are the benefits or features that Azure AD Connect provide us. If we go by definition, Azure AD Connect is a Microsoft tool that is used to integrate your on-premise Active Directory with Office 365. By using Azure AD Connect, you can synchronize your Active Directory objects to Azure Active Directory, and Azure AD Connect tool is designed to meet hybrid identity goals. So let's understand what do we mean by these statements. Let's assume that there is an organization with name Office 365 concepts. They have deployed Active Directory and they have a user account within this Active Directory. They can manage this account from Active Directory. They can reset password for this account or they can modify the attributes of this account from Active Directory itself. Now let's assume that this company has recently signed up for Office 365. So now they have an Office 365 tenant along with on-premise Active Directory. Now this organization requirement is they want this Active Directory account on Office 365 so that they can assign him an Office 365 license and this user can use Office 365 services. So they have an option that they can create same user account in Office 365. However, in that case, that account will become cloud hosted account and all of the changes will be made to that account from Office 365. But let's assume that this organization's requirement is they do not want to decommission their on-premise server. They want to keep their on-premise active directory. And if they have to make any changes for this particular user account, it has to be done from on-premise active directory not from Office 365. So to meet this requirement, we can use Azure AD Connect. We will deploy Azure AD Connect on a server, and then we will synchronize user account from Active Directory to Office 365. We can assign an Office 365 license to this user, and he can use services as per the licenses assigned to him. So now if you want to modify any attribute for this user account, or we want to reset password for this account, all these changes will be done from Active Directory. When a user account is synchronized from Active Directory for that account, we cannot modify most of the attributes from Office 365. When I say most of the attributes, that means we can still manage few attributes from Office 365 using PowerShell commands. I will be discussing all these attributes in one of the next sessions. Now, one thing to note here is that this is not a cut and paste process. This is copy and paste process. The actual account remains within Active Directory and a replica of that account is synced to Office 365. When user accounts are getting synced from Active Directory to Office 365, this type of environment is called synced environment. If you have only Office 365 tenant, that environment is called cloud hosted environment. Now let's understand how Azure AD Connect helps organizations to meet hybrid identity goals. Let's assume that in your on-premise environment, you have Active Directory and you have an Exchange server. You have set up an Office 365 tenant, and now you want to deploy an hybrid environment. I will not be discussing much about hybrid, but for your understanding, an hybrid environment or hybrid deployment model is where both on-premise and Office 365 organizations act as a single organization. We can migrate mailboxes from on-premise to Office 365. We can control email flow from on-premise, and there are many other benefits of hybrid deployment. So to achieve hybrid deployment, you need to deploy Azure AD Connect tool within your on-premise environment. And this is one of the prerequisites for hybrid deployment. 
So with the help of Azure AD Connect, we can integrate our on-premise Active Directory with Office 365, and we can deploy hybrid identity model. There are many other benefits of using Azure AD Connect tool. We have discussed the first benefit of Azure AD Connect, that is we can synchronize objects from Active Directory to Office 365. When I say objects, these are users, contacts, groups, and devices. All these recipients are called objects in Active Directory. The second benefit of using Azure AD Connect is password hash synchronization. We can synchronize passwords from Active Directory to Office 365 so that users can use same password in Office 365 that they use within their on-premise Active Directory network. The next benefit is pass-through authentication. As we discussed in password hash synchronization, passwords are synced from Active Directory to Office 365, and the users are authenticated from Azure Active Directory. But if you do not want to sync your passwords to Azure Active Directory, in that case, you can use pass-through authentication feature. In pass-through authentication scenario, users are authenticated from on-premise Active Directory instead of Azure Active Directory. The next benefit is password write-back. Let's assume that you have enabled password hash synchronization and passwords from Active Directory are getting synchronized to Azure Active Directory. Now in Office 365, we have enabled self-service password reset where users can change their own passwords. So with the help of password write back, these passwords can be written back to on-premise Active Directory or these passwords can be synced from Azure Active Directory to on-premise Active Directory. The next benefit of Azure AD Connect tool is single sign-on. With the help of this feature, users do not need to type their password when they will try to log in to Office 365 applications from their domain joined devices. They will be able to sign in automatically by typing only their email address. Next benefit of using Azure AD Connect tool is you can federate your domains using Azure AD Connect tool. We can use device write back feature with Azure AD Connect if we have registered the devices with Azure Active Directory. If you want to sync Office 365 groups from Office 365 to on-premise Active Directory, in that case, we can use group write back feature of Azure AD Connect tool. The next feature or the benefit of Azure AD Connect tool is exchange mail public folders. Exchange mail public folders was recently introduced in Azure AD Connect, where we can sync public folders from on-premise Exchange to Office 365. The next feature of Azure AD Connect tool is hybrid deployment. By enabling this feature, we can assign cross-premises permissions, and the attributes can be synced from Azure Active Directory to on-premise Active Directory. So based on our business requirements, we can use one of these features or we can use a combination of these features. In the next video, I will be discussing architectural view of Azure AD Connect. I will be discussing what is Sync Engine and what are the components of Sync Engine that help it to synchronize information from Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. And guys, if you have any questions, suggestions or feedback related to the topics that I'm posting, feel free to write in comments. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.